Welcome back, everyone, to Leroy and Tim argue about Resident Evil. That's like every day in life, though. It's true. And so let's just send Silent Hill, but we're not going to do that because that would take more. That more would be episodes. the entire episode. That yep. would literally episode. be the whole episode. I would get nothing done. Uh, so. so Leroy is telling me to go to the opposite end of the mansion. Leroy is wrong. So we're going to go here. No, but this is the Crimson Head room, though. No, it isn't. Uh, it's the same area. Same yeah. area. It's the sad side of the house. This is the Crimson Head that I was talking about, where the save room is downstairs, and I would leave the one dude alive, and I would hear him shuffling upstairs, and then run down the steps after me. Because they don't have load, the load screens anymore. Or Crimson Heads have a pair, too. Right? They would go through doors, too, didn't they? I am 90% sure they. some of them were programmed to go through. That's terrible. Uh, it's terrible. It's scary. Yeah, exactly. That's why it's terrible. Jeez. Oh shit, you got speared. Are you better? Listen, he was polite. He waited. He did waited. The, the video game thing to do his way. <laughs> yes, I will take the collar, thank you. For those who don't know about our Silent Hill argument, and this is the route to Digital Bench. Why are you doing this? <laughs> we have one side of people will prefer homecoming, and then the other side prefer the room. Uh, both have their issues. Both games have issues. Both are not very good Sound Hill games. We can all agree on that. <laughs> that is, there's no argument there. It's just which one is the worst of the two. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Yep. I'm not yep. gonna we, say. We can save I'm not gonna say who prefers what. <laughs> we can save it for the actual Silent Hill playthroughs. Yes. In which we call each other terrible names. I'm just gonna. No, you know what? I'm not gonna say a thing. I'm not gonna say which one I'll laugh at somebody yet. It's the one with the poor hit detection. <laughs> Which is, is technically both of them. All you do is that charge is up your weapon the whole way, and then you let it go because you're invincible the entire time. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you did not get frustrated when you had to impale ghosts with swords so they didn't show up at the very end? You just pick and choose. The, it's like the Crimson Heads. You pick which ones you no, need. No, you have to do all four or they show up. Or the ones you didn't do show up. Pretty sure there's one of them that you can just like leave them the fuck alone. No. Of the main four? Of the main four, no. Whatever ones you don't impale with the swords will show up in the last area. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure there was one that I was like, fuck that one. That one's okay. I can leave that one alone. So you chose to have frustrating, <laughs> make the ending more frustrating than it needed to be. I mean, that's part of the game, yes. <laughs> that's part of the game, you say, right? How can I make this game worse for me in the end? So the, all right, which ones were, sh the shittiest ones were, nah, we should save this. Yep, we should save this. So I'm starting to get angry thinking about it. <laughs> the answer is the room. The room's the worst. <laughs> That's not... Oh, my God. Let's save this. All right, let's get into it. Uh, no, no, no. No, let's save it. No. We should... We could do a cast or something with that. That one's the one that gets up, right? I think that's the one that gets yeah. up. But I think when he becomes a Crimson Head, he actually goes upstairs. He Listen, he's got... I think he stands up at one point, though. He doesn't skip like Jay. No, it's, he's hitting them steps. You know, he can't get to the gym because, obviously, they're not going to let him in because they're racist. <laughs> so he has to do his cardio up the steps. We're up racist. and down the steps. We're racist against the dead. Uh, I'm going to save again because of that embarrassing just, incident. Let's do, um, let's do a separate one. Yeah. Two terabytes on his Xbox. You All can right. do it separate. All right. A lot of space. I hope they continue with like Xbox One X. Did they say that's one terabyte? Right now they said right? one terabyte, so I'm still hoping for the. If you give us extra money, we'll give you two terabytes. Because I will give them extra money for two terabytes. Yeah. It's. Because I'm probably going to be buying more multi platform games on Xbox if I get this shit. If it runs better on that system. They never did pre orders, did they? No, supposedly. Last thing I heard was maybe like August. And then did they announce a release date? Yeah, it's like November 7th. Okay. Same day as Crackdown. Uh, so the, Terry the, Crews presents Crackdown 3. The launch title. Yes. But Joe posted a video for that in chat. I actually didn't watch that video. I, I didn't watch it. I was probably playing Planet Coaster. I, 
played a bit of the first Crackdown. I never played Crackdown 2. I didn't really like Crackdown 2. I spent a lot of time in Crackdown 1. Multiplayer and single player. I think Travis was the main catalyst for me getting that game. Playing Crackdown 1 with Travis and Jericho the, to yeah. this day is some of my most fond <laughs> multiplayer <laughs> memories. It's just Jericho like looking back on a building he's like, free your mind <laughs> and just leaps. That and Lost Planet. Playing Lost Planet with those two. Lost Planet was a terrible time. Full of terrible people. And I, I regret <laughs> us not doing it more. That's true. Yeah. They kept that game alive, though. I, th I blame them for Lost Planet 2 and 3. <laughs> they bought enough copies where Catcom They like, did! Okay. They yeah. would, like, trade it in, and then they would rebuy it. Yep. Why? Because it was Lost Planet. God damn. I mean, it was fun. I mean... It was. It wasn't the greatest multiplayer, but it had, like, the grappling hooks and the mechs and everything. That was early enough in the Xbox cycle where it was like, all right, you have, you have the gimmick. I can get behind this. That's when Capcom had some like good new ideas. Because they did Dead Rising and Lost Planet. Lost Planet wasn't a terrible game. It had the I mean it did have the like big glow and weak spots, ooh, but it was yeah. a fun Look third at my person. Orange. Yeah. I'm so orange. Don't shoot my orange. Maybe you should protect your orange a little better. Well, you you tell keep, me what to do. Well you keep shooting my glowy spot. <laughs> to be fair. Some people aren't going to finish that game if they don't know where to shoot. That's true. So. All right, I burned that one because I think that one just stands up at some point when you walk out of that room, and I don't feel like dealing with that. And then use Dead Rising 1. That was good. It was good. I didn't... I have Dead Rising 4. I didn't play it. I tried to play 1, but I'm also the guy that tried to play it on an SD TV way back in the day. Yeah, hey, you did. <laughs> and I could not reach shit. You couldn't get that story. It's like, well... That well-crafted Dead Rising story. I don't know how to do things, so I'm going to stop playing because I cannot read any of the prompts. When you had one save file and you just save over and over and over again. Was that one save file? Yeah, it was. Uh... It was a good time. But back then, you couldn't, like, your progress saved. So if you fucked up, you can start over and your character will be exactly the level and have all everything unlocked. They didn't last game, so that's true. There's actually incentive to you playing to a certain point and then starting over again. Yeah, so you can do things better and quicker. Cause that's what that game was all about: speed, knowing where everybody was, and it's like, all right, let's go get the train going. Eight people. Wasn't it the one like it had the time limit, three days or some shit? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you were actually working against the clock. So there's. Yeah, and you wanted like the best ending and everything. You had to like save like. I think it. I don't know if you had to save everybody for that though. I miss fun Capcom. Yeah, I do too. Now Capcom doesn't doesn't want my money anymore, or they want my money, just they don't want to put any work into giving me that money. They want your money for the wrong thing. Street Fighter Five. Mm. Mm. Marvel's Cap. Oh, well, actually, Marvel's Capcom is two companies that don't give a shit about me. Marvel and Capcom. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God, what have I done? You started it. No, you can go back. It hasn't got up yet. Because I think you have to walk by it. For it to I go need up. to be in this room, though. Oh. You might have fucked up. It's all right. We'll just we'll just pretend like they're not going to get up because they're not. I think you have to trigger that first one first. I think. I also think I went the wrong way, so I got to go back in the room again. Yeah. Which means that they're more than likely definitely going to get up. Oh, I'm here. Oh, it's your buddy. Hi, friend. Hi, friend. <laughs> friendly. Just going to leave him there. Friendly. Mm. Friendly. friendly. <sighs> I'll leave him there. I want to play Battlegrounds. Let's go. Let's go. I want, Joe to give me, have... I want Joe to give me a code, though. We didn't have a good night the other night, Tim, so you didn't miss anything. I'm sorry. I think the best we did was, like, top eight. Oh, yeah, there, you go. there he is. I feel like every time Son I spend money on a PC game, everybody quits afterwards. I play it whenever I can, just because I enjoy the idea of it. It's, like, only 30 bucks, right? I think so. For, yeah, 30 bucks because right now it's in early access, I think. I would assume that once it's out of early access, it'll probably go up. Alright. I should make moves on that, too. But right now, it has, like, new park and planet coaster, and I got that Destiny beta next week. I have to play the shit out of that, because I gotta play with all the different subclasses and all that stuff. Don't put out them videos. I thought about streaming it. Hmm, nice. Which, I need to get that shit squared away. Well, Destiny, I can just do off my Xbox. 
Yeah. I just need whatever info I need. And just make sure I'm offline. So people are all like, blah, blah, blah. everybody jump in Justin's chat and use racial slurs. Um, <laughs> That's the online experience, though. It is. I never promise anything less. I give you the 100% online experience. Welcome to the world of people are terrible. Internet edition. How many terrible things can I say at once? From Ready? Minecraft to Dota, I give you 100%. <laughs> all right. You can dodge him. You can dodge all of them. I'm not going to dodge him. I'm going to murder him. Uh, this is one of the best parts of the game for me is I, you have to prep to fight this thing. You have to be emotionally ready. Steal yourself. I'm going to need one of these, so I'm going to take that. For when he punches me in the face, because I'm sure he's going to. Uh, he's still laying down. That's it. Did you kill the other one? Oh, there he is. Come at me, bro. It made a sound. I think he's wondering. Where did it? it where did it? Where did it go? Oh! oh! <laughs> Smack you! <laughs> God damn! Son of a bitch! Well, you picked up the herb. It's no, oh, it's dead. Okay. There's a reason you picked up the herb. Yep. That would have been great if that achievement lied to you. Hey, you killed the crimson head. No, you didn't. Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> it just stands back up. I remember back. Second achievement to pop up for zero points. Fooled you. <laughs> uh, that would be great. They should do more of that. Give a little meta into it. Really. But Cat, I'm gonna have to be cool. Yeah. yeah. Aren't there games with zero zero point achievements? Yes. Yeah. I I don't remember which games. So, but it's always for like, why'd you even bother? Hey, you booted up the game. Good job. Oh my god, these new... The new controls are good for 90% of the time, and then the camera changes, mm -hmm. and you just walk backwards instead. I forgot that... The... So it's, a, it's the 3D controls, but it's still that typical 3D game where the camera changes, and it's like... Ugh! Yep. I'm gonna go to the left. This is what no you guys wanted, right? right? This <laughs> is what you wanted. You didn't want that. Hey, guy. There you go. Got him. And now he does not come back, thank god. He grows another head! <laughs> <laughs> Two heads. Crimson heads. Mm. That's a shame they never brought that back. Maybe in Resident Evil 2 remake they can bring that back. Oh my god, I have Crimson heads? Yep. Uh, I don't even want to think about that. I can't take more than one game with crimson heads in my life. I can't give it to me. <laughs> so VR support. Oh, oh, absolutely not. No. Let's do it. No. I, I, I want it. That's a, a whole nother level of stress that's, un, yes. that's unnecessary. I need more VR horror games on my PlayStation. Leroy's never going to play the game. Well, that doesn't that doesn't change anything. <laughs> Leroy beats these weird games I would never expect him to beat in the games that he should beat. And it's like, eh, I'll get to it. I'll get to it eventually. Hey man, I finished Double Dragon 4. That game fucking sucks. See, what? there's one. Yeah. There's an example right there. <laughs> I finished this game. It was awful. It was not and Then good. Leroy's like, I hate video games now. Because like, that's what you play. It's, it's not a great experience. <laughs> I can't really say anything because I never finished Horizon either. That deserves to be beat. Somewhere Jim is just I gotta listening start that. to this and that getting game very is angry. I gotta start that. I will Wait, start Wait, did that. you play Zelda Breath of the Wild? Yeah. All right, and then... You might want to put some more time between that and this. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Give it as much uh, distance in between as possible. Horizon's an amazing game, but I feel like Zelda has changed the way I look at sandbox games forever. That's fair. Because like, Zelda's like, I can just go that way and something will happen. Or I'll find something cool. It's not like that in any other sandbox game. It's like, you can find some side mission stuff, but we're still going to steer you toward this. Like, I can find some cool little cache of ore that I can make money in Zelda. Where I go in Horizon, I just find something that probably wants to kill me. I'll never go there again. <laughs> Which that reminds me, I gotta do that soldier DLC. We got all the armors and everything. I haven't done the trial stuff yet. That was last week, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because I've been sick and I have no patience when I'm sick. So I only can do fun things when I'm sick. I'll get really mad. 
And me using a handheld system when I'm mad? No, that's not a good idea. I could put this switch in the wall. I could I embed could. this in the wall. Like a TV. <laughs> this is my... There's Forrest right there. Ooh. Don't look at him. Uh. What's wrong with you? Get real close. Hug him. Suplex him. I'm gonna take this. Oh, back when a grenade launcher only picked up one spot. Yep. Garbage. Hey, let's have these big weapons take up two slots. Like Resident Evil. Oh, for you. Did we win? Yes. He also runs like that. Uh. Don't they have a mode in this game where he is invisible? What? Hold on, let me find it. <laughs> I, yeah, I would like to know. Why am I wasting time? What am I doing? Yeah, what are you Ten doing? Ten bullets. You might as well go back and get that herb now. I'm gonna. Is he down? He's probably down. I feel like he would be down for that. I, I think I would have bumped him otherwise. His hitbox is still active. Invisible forest. Invisible zombie mode. Oh, there's... Yeah. I don't Which know if Resident it's forest... This one. I don't think it's specifically forest, though. I think it's something else. It's all of them. Physical crimson heads? Sure. That would be some garbage. No. No, no you get, like, the shimmer. Like a predator. <laughs> <laughs> Just the faint outline. Yeah. that's That would be worse. Well, I wasted bullets. And then do that in VR. So, there's that. Oh, oh wait! Man, I just want more VR games. It's one dangerous zombie mode. Oh, one dangerous zombie. <laughs> uh, one dangerous zombie is a feature in the Resident Evil remake, which sees a zombified and essentially invulnerable Forest Spire yeah. wandering the mansion. Wow! It is unlocked in the 2002 GameCube version by completing Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield scenarios twice each, playing once again for both. So fuck! You got to beat the game four times. Which that's fine. No, I think I only beat the game with Chris once. I said I am manually fine. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Rather than being a separate mode, this feature becomes a permanent part of each once again. No, well, that's probably why I never did it. Like Chris, you only get it beat once. So, so you never have to deal with that. If you play through both characters twice, on that fifth playthrough, he's basically there and invisible forever on that save. <laughs> it is <laughs> That's great. It's not really a mode, it's just a glitch in the game. It's a bug they never got rid of. But I, I take it he can go through doors and shit? Oh, that would be even better. Because if he's only in one spot, then once you find out where it is, then you know... Forrest will be present in various locations throughout the mansion during the first section of the game. His appearances are not randomized. Thus, he can be anticipated. Oh. oh. But he's in more than one location, he just teleports, I guess. Yeah. Forrest on the vest with multiple grenades strapped to each to his bandolier. Even when off screen, one can confirm he is present in the room by the rattling of his grenades and his shuffling feet. He is considered a hyper zombie, so he runs faster than other zombies and lunges much farther. That is true. I can attest to that after fighting him. <laughs> <laughs> when he appears, he replaces all the zombies that would otherwise be in the room. So if you're in a spot where there's normally zombies and you notice they don't spawn, that motherfucker's in there. Wait a minute. There's no zombies in here. <laughs> this is surprisingly safe. It's not safe. It's not safe. It's not about this is safe. I don't remember this puzzle. I'm going to come back to this when I save. Do some other stuff. Damn, because that would have been a good place to end it. No. I gotta redo something else. Um, here's a good. You can't kill him. What? You, you can't, can't kill him in that mode. You can't kill him. Nope. Any damage you do to him is gonna set off the uh, grenades. Here's a good spot. Richard. Richard. Fuck you. There it is, Richard. Dick. You're wounded. <laughs> this whole place kind of understated. He got a chunk out of his zone. head. Uh, there were monsters. Really, Richard? There are monsters. Thanks. Thanks for that heads Didn't up. Didn't notice it. Snake. Oh, the big snake. Right. It had to be My arm's like purple. Poisonous. Is this bad? 
It's gonna be fine, right? I, can, I don't have to lose my arm, right? The bone's kind of sticking out a little bit. It's got black all over. Looks like gangrene. It's only half a minute to go. Whoa, that arm! <laughs> What's this thing called again? It... Well, that's, it's been a while since I looked at that. Something part. like quiet. It might be quiet. I thought it was, was like had a Y or something. Yawn. Yawn. That's it. Yeah. It's not quiet. Yawn is a sound. Close enough. <laughs> Close to sleeping. I knew it had a Y, but it's been a long time since I've... Yawn. Puts me right out. <laughs> Snake poison just puts me right out. Puts me to sleep. Tuckers me out. Oh. oh. Well. Get out of my face. No. My motor skills. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hmm. I don't remember that. It's okay. It's fine. It's the worst I can have. I don't know. Just think of any Resident Evil monster plus in the door. That. That might be the thing in my head. Don't do that to me. What? Don't do that to well, me. Well, I guess we're going to have to find out in the next episode. <laughs> so everybody can live in fear. We can save and do whatever we feel is necessary. All right. Oh wait, no, I shouldn't have done that. I gotta, it is episode three, so for now I'm stopping.